Before we start the video, I'm going to make a quick, very important announcement. Do not let your friends cut your hair for you. What is up guys and welcome to Southwest Angling. I'm your host Donnie KC. Sorry it has been a little bit of a break, but I'm back now hoping to do a bunch of videos. And today's video is going to be a little bit different because when I filmed it, it, well, I didn't make an intro and some of the parts are a little bit confusing, so be prepared to see this screen a lot as I explain what exactly is happening in this video. But anyways, last weekend I went on a trip to Española doing some pond hopping there, you know, hoping to find some new bass spots besides Albuquerque, whatever ditches and stuff are here. So anyways, I went up there, a lot of ponds recommended to me, so I decided to check them out. Um, the video you are about to see is a pond recommended to me by David Goodrich, check out his channel, and he said it was super good, so I decided to try it out, and it was pretty good, because on trays, my friend, his third cast, this happened. Alright guys, Trey is the first one hooked up with a really nice bass. Would you say that's a pound-ish? Yeah. I have a scale, we can check that. On the chatterbait too? Is yeah. that your first chatterbait fish? It is, and my first fish on this big caster. Very fancy. Let me get a closer look at that. That was a nice bass. Was the bite hard? No, I, I thought it was sucking weeds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna guess a little less than a pound because he's pretty skinny. Point seventy-seven. Good way to start the year, and on a chatterbait. Very nice. Alright guys, so that was his first bass of 2017, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, not a pound, but you know, sort of there. Anyways, um, another thing I forgot to add is that we both got new rods and reels. He got that fancy lose bait casting setup, as you saw. Um, I will expose my new rod in an upcoming video, because I'm doing a rod and reel arsenal video, so shh, look for that one. But anyways, um, so yeah, he caught that, and then literally the cast after that, this happened. Oh, uh, it came off. Really, the cast after that? <laughs> My gosh. So yeah, he had one on, came off, what a bummer, but the cast after that, I lost the video of, because he caught a pretty nice fish, one and a half pound bass, using that same chatterbait. I have no idea what happened to that video, but um, just to prove that that fish exists, here is a picture of it. Yeah, anyways, for New Mexico, that is a pretty darn cool bass. We were both very excited, but it sucks that that video didn't come through. But anyways, that doesn't matter, because this channel is about yours truly. And after that, I finally caught a fish on a pretty surprising lure. Check it out. No, it's, yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, guys, I hooked one on the freaking swim bait. Yes! Oh my gosh, look at that. That is a five-inch swim bait that fish hit. Look at, it's not even that big, but look at what it took. Oh my gosh, this pond is amazing. Wait, let's get it out. Dang, he went for that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wait, Trey, put the swim bait next to it. It's like almost half his body length. Look at that. That is insane. Oh my gosh. This is... That's awesome. On a freaking swim bait. Like sometimes I struggle to catch them on a drop shot, let alone this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. Like... <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, we're gonna have to weigh this guy. I am just dumbfounded. I, I don't think he's going to make a pound, but that is insane. It's almost a pound. Oh, uh, two. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm counting that as a pound. I mean, but on a swim bait, that counts for something. That is my first swim bait fish. Look at that thing. That is amazing. Woo! Let's get this guy back and hopefully catch some more. That's awesome. So anyways, that was freaking insane. That was my first bass ever on a swim bait. And in New Mexico, I mean, to all you guys, it probably sounds like nothing, but in New Mexico, that is a really rare thing to happen. 
I mean, normally I just catch fish on drop shot, so catching that fish on a swim bait was truly amazing. And as I'm talking, I just realized that this wristband is green, so there is nothing here the whole time. Looked like I had a floating hand. That's unfortunate. Anyways, so <laughs> two casts after that, after I caught that swim bait bass, this. Oh crud. We just got kicked out. Yeah, it's like so many in there. Bass. <laughs> Darn, yeah, let us know. <laughs> Alright, thanks. <laughs> well, that sucks. Well, good thing we have a few other ponds in mind, but uh... Ah, that's a shame. That is one heck of a pond. Really yeah. I don't really have the best luck with being able to stay in places that I consistently catch fish. My last video at Tingley, I got kicked out, and just when I find a perfect pond, fish on almost every single cast, I also get kicked out. So, just my luck, oh well. That's sort of the thing with New Mexico fishing. It's either horrible or really good and illegal. Anyways, 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 so, after that, <laughs> um, we had a few more pound, the ponds in mind. Um, this one was recommended to me by a subscriber, Nat Nat, um, showed me where to go, so I went there, and here's how it went. Alright guys, pond number two, um, this was recommended to me. Um, from what I've heard, it's pretty tough to fish, so we're going to see what works. I'm starting off with the finesse on my brand new reel and rod. So, either way, I get to test this out, and we'll see what happens. Well, this pond was a bust. Um, we're going to try some others, but sorry, Nat Nat. Um, I, I don't know what to do here. Uh, I mean, we tried finesse and everything, but it is a tough pond to fish. Good luck to you, though. Uh, we're gonna try somewhere else. So yeah, that was rather unfortunate. I also lost a, like, $7 dirk bait I just bought on a tree. So that wasn't really the best pond for me. I'll have to try it again in the summer. But anyways, after that, we decided to go to these sort of, like, pay-to-fish ponds, almost like Sandia Lakes or Isleta. And, um, so yeah, we went there, heard there was some bass, uh, we talked to the guy up front, and he said that there are some giants in there, so we were pretty excited, um, we rolled on up to the place, uh, took, you know, had some first impressions, here's how it went down. I was a little skeptical at first, but this pond actually looks really good, I mean, we had to pay for it, supposedly it's like a, mostly a pay trout pond, but, uh, I heard from the guy that there's some really big bass in here, and that there's actually a bass pro fishing this lake. So if all goes according to plan, hopefully we can meet him and get some sweet tips. But we'll see what happens. One of those two guys on the other shore is our, is our bass star. I can't tell which one. I'm feeling like it's the guy with the bait caster, but we'll see. We'll see. Alright, so we had a chat with the son of the guy who owns this place, and he did in fact confirm that there are bass here, and possibly some nice ones. Uh, shout out to you, man. Thanks for, you know, giving us some confidence in this place and letting us know about a few more spots. But, uh, yeah, so there are fish in here, so we actually stand a chance. Alright guys, so the fishing is very, very tough, so I think we're gonna have to switch to some super finesse techniques. So here's a nice small bluegill sized worm, just 14 inches of raw finesse fury. Let's see how this works. <laughs> it's like a snake. Huh. Well, for some reason, the 14 inch snake lure didn't work. That's a surprise. Alright, so these kids just set up a carp line, and so we're going to go check it. Um, they seem pretty, pretty knowledgeable. We're going to see if there's a carp on the other end of it. There should be some big ones in here. It just took 50 pound braid. Do you guys have any other line? Ah, oh, there it is. Darn. No cigar. And that was the last cast. Darn. 
Well, thanks so much for all those tips. All right, Thank thanks you. so much, Raymond. Here's what happened. <laughs> so, sorry for the really sketchy video. I mean, I don't really know what I was doing filming. I sort of lost track of time, but anyways, we got there, met these two awesome kids, showed us some great tips, um, showed us, you know, all the cool kid places in the pond, some great stories about their fishing. Um, I know uh, Raymond is going to start a YouTube channel sometime soon, so I'll be sure to mention that, and you guys can go check it out. But uh, anyways, um, we went all around, tried everything, the giant worm, like literally everything we had, couldn't get anything. They said they were getting bass the day before, and it should be, you know, good this time of year, but for some reason we weren't just having any luck. Uh, we did run into the Bass Pro. Um, everything I heard, like, said that his name was Kitchen, but I I don't know, that, that doesn't seem right to me. But anyways, we talked to him, he gave us some good tips, told us what lure to use, we didn't have it. Um, yeah. He caught three fish that day, so you know, that that place is on fire, so we're gonna come back, and the bass should be betting soon, so that's something to look forward to. But anyways, here is the name of those ponds, so I can give that place some credit, because I'm definitely gonna be back, and the people there were so nice. Here it is. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it, because I know I'll fail horribly, but anyways, awesome place, definitely worth the money. I mean, even though I didn't catch anything, I had a great time. That was that pond, and which was the last pond. So those first 20 minutes of fishing were what really did it that day. Everything else sort of went downhill. But anyways, here is what put me on to those first fish, and I'll tell you about some other stuff. All right, so here's what I caught that first and only bass on. I know the rod cover's green. It's gonna be weird for a few seconds. All right. So I'm using my old faithful bait caster, the first one I ever got, sort of what I use for my heavier fishing. Uh, 30 pound spider wire I had just spooled the night before, made sure that was ready, and I tied directly to a snap and a freaking swim bait. Okay, so funny story behind these. The day before I went to get my fishing license, uh, you guys should do that if you hadn't already. It's pretty important. Anyways, I was there at Charlie's, local sporting goods store, and they were having a sale, and on their clearance booth, there was, like, not a lot. I mean, a lot of people took stuff, some sort of, like, iffy-looking lures, but there is a package of these right there, some Robo Worm Easy Shad, maybe? I'll correct myself, unless I'm wrong. I know it's in the Stalker Trout color. There's a three-pack of these just chilling on that shelf. And they were originally $9.29, but because of that sale, I got all of these for four bucks. What a steal. Anyways, here is the lure upside down. There we go, right there. Um, at the very end, I used some spike it on the tail, but uh, I had just caught the fish normally with the lure how it is. Uh, so yeah, awesome to catch a fish on this. I mean, just amazing. The hook I used was a... Um, I, uh, uh, I can't remember the brand. I got it at Sportsman's. Uh, it's specifically for swim baits, but it does not have a weight. It is a 5 aught hook. Um, so yeah, I caught that fish on that just casting straight out, and I sort of let it sink a little let, and reeled it in real slow. Um, and that is what did it. Honestly, at that pond, if I had a drop shot on, it would have been all over. Like... I couldn't even express to you how many fish I would have caught. I mean, that pond was insanity. If you guys know any secret fishing places and you want to, you know, go fishing with this guy, let me catch some bass and put you on camera, just let me know. I'll, I'll hit you up. But anyways, this sort of got me obsessed over swim baits and big lures because it gave me faith that, you know, I can... I can catch stuff on real fishing lures in New Mexico because normally I just use drop shot. So, I went online and bought a insane amount of giant lures. That will be in an upcoming video. It should come anytime this week. But yeah, be on the lookout for that because now I am obsessed with catching fish on Cool Kid Lures. I know that people catch like five pounders in ditches with rats. Like, I want to get in on some of that. So anyways, that is going to have to wrap up the video. Sorry, it's all over the place. You know, at least you got to see some fish, some bass. That's pretty cool. 
Um, but yeah, sorry it was confusing. But anyways, I hoped you enjoyed. Let me know if you do. Be sure to check out the pond I recommended. I, I can't pronounce it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll catch you later. Toodles.